The strategic defense landscape of the 21st century is defined not merely by the deployment of advanced weaponry, but by the industrial alliances that forge them. Among the most significant of these collaborations is the T-7A Red Hawk program, a joint initiative between the American aerospace giant Boeing and the Swedish defense stalwart Saab. This advanced pilot training system represents more than a procurement contract. It symbolizes the seamless integration of Swedish engineering philosophy with American industrial capacity. As the United States Air Force transitions away from the Cold War era T-38 Talon, the T-7A stands as the physical manifestation of a deepened transatlantic bond, particularly relevant in 2026, following Sweden's integration into the NATO alliance structure. The necessity for such a platform arose from a widening gap in aerial combat capabilities. For over six decades, the Northrop T-38 Talon served as the primary trainer for American fighter pilots. However, the advent of fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II rendered the analog systems of the T-38 obsolete. Modern aerial warfare requires pilots to manage complex sensor fusion and high-G maneuvers that older airframes simply cannot replicate. The United States Air Force identified a critical need for a purpose-built aircraft that could bridge the technological chasm between basic flight training and the cognitive demands of operating a stealth fighter. The answer was found not in a domestic monopoly, but in an international partnership that leveraged the specific strengths of two distinct industrial bases. At the heart of the T-7A Red Hawk lies a revolutionary approach to manufacturing known as digital engineering. This methodology, championed by Saab during the development of its Gripen E fighter, allows for the creation of a digital twin, a virtual replica of the aircraft that is perfected before a single piece of metal is cut. The application of this Swedish design philosophy to an American military program produced startling results. The T-7A went from a computer screen concept to its first physical flight in just 36 months. This timeline shattered the historical norm curve for military aircraft development. Official data indicates that this digital first approach reduced assembly hours by 80% and cut software development time in half. By eliminating the need for expensive physical mock-ups and reducing the margin for error in drilling and assembly, the program demonstrated a level of efficiency that appealed directly to the fiscal pragmatism of American defense planners. The division of labor within the program highlights the complementary nature of the Swedish and American defense sectors. Saab is responsible for the design and production of the aft fuselage, the rear section of the aircraft that houses the engine and impenage. This section is a marvel of aerodynamic engineering, incorporating twin tails that provide exceptional stability and control. This design choice is critical for high angle of attack maneuvers, a flight regime where the aircraft nose is pointed steeply upward while moving forward. Mastery of such maneuvers is essential for pilots transitioning to the F-35, which relies on similar aerodynamic principles. Initially manufactured in Linköping, Sweden, the production of these fuselage sections was strategically transferred to a purpose-built facility in West Lafayette, Indiana. This transfer ensures compliance with United States manufacturing requirements while maintaining the integrity of the original Swedish design. Boeing, 
operating from its historic hub in St. Louis, Missouri, manufactures the forward fuselage, wings, and flight control surfaces. The American partner also oversees the final assembly and the complex integration of mission systems. The resulting aircraft is powered by a single General Electric F404 turbofan engine, a reliable power plant that offers a thrust-to-weight ratio sufficient to simulate the performance of frontline combat aircraft. The cockpit features a stadium seating configuration, ensuring the instructor in the rear seat has excellent visibility over the student in the front. Inside, the avionics suite is fully modular, featuring large area displays that can be reconfigured to mimic the interfaces of various current and future fighter jets. This adaptability ensures that the Red Hawk will remain relevant for decades, regardless of how frontline cockpit technologies evolve. While the engineering narrative is one of success, the program has faced the inevitable friction of complex aerospace development. The path to the 2025 low-rate initial production phase was navigated through technical challenges, specifically regarding the escape system and flight control software. During early testing, data suggested that the ejection seat mechanism required refinement to ensure pilot safety across a wider range of body types and sizes. These delays, while costly in terms of schedule, demonstrated the rigorous safety standards adhered to by both nations. The transparent resolution of these issues, rather than diminishing the program, reinforced the reliability of the engineering teams. By early 2026, the resolution of these hurdles allowed the program to accelerate, with aircraft deliveries commencing to bases such as Joint Base San Antonio Randolph in Texas. The economic implications of the T-7A contract are substantial. The initial contract awarded by the United States Air Force was valued at approximately 9.2 billion U.S. dollars, covering the delivery of 351 aircraft and 46 ground-based training simulators. For the Swedish defense industry, this represents one of the largest export successes in its history, validating the global competitiveness of its aerospace sector. For the United States, it secures a domestic supply chain for critical training infrastructure while benefiting from allied innovation. The cost per flight hour of the T-7A is projected to be significantly lower than the legacy T-38, largely due to the maintenance-friendly design features inherent in the Saab blueprint. Access panels are placed at convenient heights, and the number of tools required for standard servicing has been minimized, reflecting a Scandinavian focus on functional ergonomics. Beyond the technical and economic metrics, the T-7A Red Hawk carries profound geopolitical weight. The aircraft serves as a tangible asset of the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement between Stockholm and Washington. As Sweden assumes its role as a full NATO member, the interoperability offered by shared platforms becomes a strategic multiplier. The T-7A is not merely a tool for the United States Air Force. It is a potential standard for the entire alliance. European nations operating the F-35, such as Finland, Poland, and Germany, face the same training deficits as the United States. A trainer aircraft that is already certified by the United States Air Force and rooted in European design principles presents a compelling option for these air forces. The potential for the Red Hawk to become the standard NATO trainer creates a scenario where Swedish technology underpins the readiness of the entire Western alliance.
The narrative of the T-7A Red Hawk is ultimately a story of convergence. It brings together the massive production scale of Boeing with the agile, innovative engineering of Saab. It bridges the generational gap between Cold War aerodynamics and digital age warfare. For the American taxpayer, it represents a prudent investment in national security that leverages global expertise. For the Swedish citizen, it is a point of national distinction, proving that a country of 10 million can shape the defense trajectory of a superpower. As these red-tailed jets take to the skies over Texas and eventually bases across the world, they fly as aluminum and composite proof that the security of the Atlantic community relies on shared burden, shared intellect, and shared industrial resolve.